Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Class Action Mega Park. Now in the last episode, I made this uh, mountain bike a rental uh, over here. Now I did change the layout of it a little bit off camera just to fill in more of this uh, land here. Now the park is filling in very nicely. We just have this area remaining and we have this area remaining here in the corner. Well, and some uh, small areas uh, here and there that still have to be uh, filled up. But in uh, this episode, I want to add uh, one attraction uh, somewhere over in this area. And the kind of ride that I want to add is a SCAD tower. Now, I don't know if you know what a SCAD tower is. Uh, there's a few of them over, uh, yeah, dispersed throughout the world. Uh, basically, what they are is uh, kind of like a tower where... Uh, Guests are suspended at the top and then they're dropped down uh, yeah, onto a net and then they are uh, then they can uh, exit the ride. Now there are several ways uh, uh, how I could uh, simulate that in this game. I could for example make a launched uh, or like a free fall drop tower with just uh, one guest suspended in one of those uh, mini suspended flying coaster trains. I could just lift him up and then uh, make him drop down and he would drop down pretty fast. But uh, I think the more fun approach to do this is simply to uh, make sort of like an elevator ride which uh, brings the guests to the top and then there would simply be a, an exit here where the guests uh, drop down again slowly. <laughs> because uh, guests uh, all have drank a feather falling uh, potion and that's why they all uh, uh, fall very slowly. I think that uh, that would be a more uh, fun approach to this ride. And uh, down here I would make sort of like a net which the guests uh, fall through before they uh, exit the ride. Okay, um, I will uh, level out some of the land here. And then uh, I will first uh, try to make a nice looking tower over here. Alright, with this the ride should already be functional. So uh, as you can see there's a uh, uh, lift cabin going up and down here. I uh, made sure to only give it uh, one seat. So only one guest can go up uh, at a time. Uh, the exit of the second platform is uh, over here. Uh, I actually moved it down from, uh, from uh, all the way uh, up here. But yeah, guest uh, should walk to the exit here and then uh, drop down. Uh, we will uh, soon be able to see it in action since the first guest is now uh, getting on the ride. Let's see if it uh, works. So it should be... Ah, uh, wait. I think this uh, ride, this is a vehicle that uh, takes at least uh, two guests. So, yeah. I'll have to uh, edit it to the... Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, something strange is happening here. A lot of people seem to be getting on it. Um... Maybe it doesn't really work uh, if I edit this ride to have only uh, one seat. I'll change it to have two seats and uh, see what uh, happens. Hey, okay, you can uh, actually see the guests uh, drop down here. Now, there, this beam here is a little bit in the way for the ride. But yeah, you can at least see that the ride uh, does uh, function. Alright, um, I will probably move this uh, exit one to the to the back. That uh, should allow you to see the guests more clearly. And uh, as you can see, the elevator now takes two guests uh, every time it uh, leaves. Okay, the ride's now functional. So now it's time to uh, actually make it look nice. Now what I still want to add, uh, up here we're going to need some sort of uh, uh, platform. Maybe I'll probably make this tower uh, invisible. Uh, but yeah, I want to have some sort of like a catwalk here or platform for guests to walk on. And we need some sort of uh, netting here. And I might just use a Bob's Lyco as a track for that.
Alright, I think it's starting to look nice. Uh, I'm kind of fond of this uh, platform that I made up here. Simply used uh, parts of the of the lift to ride to actually uh, make this uh, platform. I think it looks uh, quite nice. Now, I sadly I wasn't uh, able to get the ride to just take uh, one guest. Um, so now uh, every time it drops two guests down at the same time. Yeah, it's probably a bit less safe, but uh, oh well. <laughs> I, I still like the way this uh, looks. So I'll just uh, keep it uh, like this. Right, uh, yeah, just extended uh, the, the, the platform. Uh, I made this netting here using this Bob's like uh, sit track. I quite like the way this looks. Maybe I'll add uh, same parts of the track, but rotate it 90 degrees. Not really sure yet. And under this, I want to make like a, a, yeah, a big uh, blue mat, something in a bright color. Um, yeah, just to make it look a, a little bit more exciting uh, and uh, make it look a little bit more colorful here. Also, the queue uh, probably also still needs some work. And of course, the surroundings. Anyway, um, I'm just going to uh, continue working on this ride. But uh, I'm already really happy with the way it's starting to look. <laughs> so something uh, I just noticed that the mechanic also uh, just does a free fall drop down after it has uh, inspected the ride. <laughs> something I, I didn't expect. Alright, the ride itself is now uh, mostly complete, so I finished this uh, netting up here. Now one thing I don't really like is how this uh, yeah, support structure just ends here. But yeah, I uh, couldn't continue building here like this because the the elevator here is in the way. Uh, I'll probably just uh, find some kind of different uh, support structure to connect these, uh, these beams. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, continue on the surroundings of the ride. Just going to place uh, lots of trees uh, and stuff around it to make it look more like the rest of the surroundings here. Okay, I've decided to add a little bit more structure to the tower. Something which I forgot is that uh, in one of these rides, guests are actually suspended above the hole for a while before finally they're dropped. And of course, to suspend uh, a guest, you will need some kind of structure above it. So that's why I add this little structure uh, connecting these towers. I think it also just looks uh, much better with this uh, extra structure here. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy uh, with that. And with that, <laughs> with this, uh, I think the ride is now uh, completed uh, for real. Okay, so now I can actually uh, finally work on the surroundings of the ride.
All right. Uh, well, this will obviously be a very uh, simple spot to actually put uh, several patrons. So uh, once again, this, in this uh, episode, I will add two patrons to the park. Um, first, I'll make a little path up here, and I'll probably also make a path uh, in this uh, little section here. Alright, here on this uh, platform we will have a uh, patron with the name Photopia. Of course we'll make it a uh, tiger. Hey, thanks uh, Photopia for uh, supporting my uh, my channel, I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy your spot here on the sky tower. And here on top we will have Chuggers. Hey, thanks a lot for uh, supporting me Chuggers. Uh, Chuggers also makes RCD videos, so uh, if you have the time, uh, you should also go and check out uh, his channel. Alright, we still have some time left, so uh, I'm going to make another shop in this section. Now, um, I thought to myself, uh, name one thing that's better than, uh, than chewing gum. And then it hit me, uh, I'll make a shop selling chewing glass. So it's just like uh, chewing gum, except uh, a bit more uh, crunchy. And over here we can probably just make a little uh, toilet building, something like that. Um, we, uh, quite, we have uh, a bit of a lack of toilets uh, throughout the park, so I'll probably also make one over here. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get on with the chewing glass shop. Alright, I think that was enough building for me for this episode. Uh, this was a bit of a shorter episode, but uh, I have to get on with the uh, Christmas uh, preparations. Anyway, um, yeah, just a little recap what I built in this episode. So uh, I built this uh, sky tower, of course. It's one of those uh, SCAD towers. I believe it stands for suspended um, catch, suspended catch. Uh, Air uh, aerial device, something like that. <laughs> Suspended catch airdrop device. I, I'm not really sure anymore. You can probably uh, look it up on Google. Anyway, um, that's what I built uh, over here, of course. Um, next to it, just a little uh, toilet building. And then over here, we now have a chewing glass shop. And I also built some uh, toilets over here. So I think uh, all the buildings on the main street are now done. Uh, actually, we can probably fit another one right over here. But that'll be something for our next episode. So yeah, um, the area that we have to uh, fill in gets smaller and smaller. So uh, yeah, just a few more episodes and then this uh, park should be finished. Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching me build and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later! Wow.